everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Stuart Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot. It's another gorgeous day here in the Canadian Maritimes. And I want to carry on my talk about the work bands. I've been sharing a couple of videos on the work bands, how they got established, uh, no contests, all that good stuff. And today we want to dig a little deeper into the 30 meter band. And um, why is SSB not allowed on 30 meters? Well, and some areas of the world, South Africa for one, allows SSB on 10 meters during daylight hours only. And Australia also allows SSB on 30 meters, but I just don't know if there's any time restrictions to that one. But the majority of the world doesn't allow SSB on 30 meters. So why is that? Well, the 30 meter band is a very, very small band and SSB is known to be wider than say digital and CW. So if you had SSB on 30 meters, there'd be a lot of interference. And one of the main reasons is to minimize interference on the band. So here in Canada, 30 meters is uh, CW and digital only. No SSB, SSB, yeah. SSB, SSB, no SSB. Uh, same in the U.S. and same for a lot of parts of the uh, world. So that was the uh, that's the reason why uh, we don't allow SSB on 30 meters, just to minimize interference and allow those other modes to communicate. Simple enough, eh? I'm Stuart Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in another video. 7-3 from beautiful New Brunswick.